Do you want to build a trigger in monday.com that triggers in one board and then creates an item in another board and then at the same time linking the items to each other? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So we're now in monday.com and the goal is to create an item in board two when we hit done in board one. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So first of all, you need to go to board one and then go to automate. There you can click on add a custom automation. Here you can decide for your trigger and your trigger can be a lot. It can be when a stat just changes to something, it can be when an item is created, when a specific column changes. As you can see, there's quite a lot possible. So yeah, just choose the one that makes sense for you. In my case, I want to create an item when the status is done. So I go for status changes to something. So let's do that. Click on status. In my case, the status column and it changes to done. Then, what you also can do is make it even more complex by adding this plus icon. So you can say when status changes to done and a date column is empty, for example. So there's a lot possible here, but I'm not going to do that now. Uh, let's say then we create an item and here we have two options, create item and connect the boards or just create the item in a board. In my case, I want to connect them as well. So I'm selecting that specific uh, action. Now we need to select the board and my board is called board two tutorial. And as you can see, when I click on item is I can map the data to the fields in the other board. And you can do that by uh, saying, well, for example, here we have the name and we can decide, well, with this plus icon, we say what specific information needs to go into this uh, column. In my case, the name needs to be the name, but maybe you have some columns that you would like to route to different columns, or maybe some are not automatically routed because money didn't know what to route it to. You can also select a group. In my case, I have two groups, but let's just do this one. And you can even select multiple. So you could say name and have like some text and then say name and item ID, for example. Then you click done. And then we have another thing. We say connect boards. And there we have three options. So you can connect both boards to each other, meaning that in both boards, there will be a connect boards column and they will be linked to each other. Um, if we do board one, as you can see here, a column will be added in the selected board and linked to the source item, meaning in board two in this case. If you go for board two, uh, oh, sorry, that's the other way around. It will create it in board two when I hit board two here. If I go for board one, it will link from board one, meaning that if you click on board one, there won't be a connect boards column in board two and vice versa. So if you do board two, there won't be one in board one. So if you want to really connect them and make sure that uh, you can mirror data in both ways, you would need both boards. But if you just, for example, want to show data on board two, uh, then you just go for board two. Anyway, I'll go for both boards to show you. And then we'll say, well, what column do you want to use? If you don't have a connect boards column yet, you will need to create a new column here by just clicking add new column. And then it will say, well, that's uh, done. And yeah, you can say, for example, do you want it to be able to link multiple items? In my case, that's fine. And then I'm like, okay, well, this is great. Let's, oh, whoops. As you can see here, it now has a new column. So I can select that specific column and can create the automation. There you go. Then what we can do, as you can see here, there's now a new connect boards column and you will see that column here as well. So this one is linked to board one and this one is linked to board two. And when I hit something as done, so let's change item two to done. And what you'll see in a few seconds is something will pop up here. There you go, item two and, and as you can see the item ID didn't really go through correctly. So apparently that doesn't really work in this automation. Uh, but it's good to know that it's possible with other columns such as a status column. Now what you can do from here, you can click on it and you can actually see that it's linked or you can go to this board and see that, well, this specific item was created and it's linked back. If you now want to mirror data, so for example, on board two, you want to show columns for, from board one, just click the plus icon and type mirror. Here you can then select your board. So let's connect it to the link that we just created. And then you can select the column that you'd like to mirror. So let's say we want to mirror the owner and we'll see the owner now here. Meaning that if I change it here to Patrick, you will see that it's also changed here. And if I add, for example, Patrick here, another Patrick here, you will see it's also mirrored there. 
can then change the column name to people, for example, and now everything will be mirrored. Keep in mind, there are some limitations to mirroring. It's for example, uh, on the pro plan, only possible to uh, have up to 20 connected board columns and uh, on enterprise at the moment, it's 60. Monday is working on improving this with their Monday DB project, but it might take some more time. So if you're connecting a lot of boards to each other, you might run into this limitation. So that's how you connect two boards to each other and creating an item based on the trigger. And you can probably create a lot of different automations now with the things I showed you. So hopefully you liked it. If so, leave a like on the video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And I'll respond to you and help you out. And if you want more of these tips, subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. And uh, I'll see you soon at the next tip. Bye-bye.